Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel and today I'm very happy to share this video for you guys. Um, I've been doing this kind of video for like over a couple of years now so um, I, I find that you guys like this best of like the previous year video so that's why I'm doing it. Um, it's not that much but it's not too little so I hope you guys um, enjoy it and if you're interested then please keep on watching. Okay guys so I guess I'm gonna go ahead and start with makeup because well, that's what this channel is mainly about, or that's how I started. Um, so yeah, so the first thing I'm going to show you guys is actually my L'Oreal True Match Foundation. This has been my baby for years and years and years. Uh, I think this is my third purchase of this bottle. Um, they did like repackage or like ref refill, um, did like a new formula on it, but it's still like the best thing ever um, and even like other YouTube gurus um, that love high-end products if you ask them what their favorite um, drugstore foundation is they will tell you this so anyone that would ask me what they should buy uh, for their first foundation I would suggest the L'Oreal True Match because there's a lot of different shades and the consistency is just perfect um, it's perfect for everyday wear it's perfect for special occasion it's just awesome I am in um, I am in color two beige and five okay uh, but yeah this is how it looks like I just I just love love, love. then the next thing I guess we're gonna stay in face product the next thing is actually my NYC um, uh, smooth skin pressed pressed face powder um, I have I've had this powder for a very long time. I'm not gonna tell you how long, but uh, I just realized it's been a while. Um, and I, as you can see, I've hit pan on it, or I don't know if you can see that, but yeah, I've hit pan on it. Um, this is just like a very easy going powder. It's like my go-to powder. It's like if even if I don't wear foundation, even if I don't wear BB cream, or I want to put it over a BB cream. You just and then you just put it all over your face and you're good to go um, I just love the packaging too like how compact it is um, I like the fact that it's plastic <laughs> so that you know if you drop it it's not gonna like break right away you know what I mean um, I do still like my elf one but that one broke on me so it didn't make uh, into last year's uh, best of last year best of 2015 but I still like it though but yeah, this is like the best right now. This is warm beige. I still, I also have the true beige, I believe. I have both of them. I have two, I have two of these, so yeah. How do you guys like this new hair? Here, by the way. Anyway, so um, the next product I'm gonna talk to you guys about is actually my bronzer. This is by Rimmel. This is the color Sunlight. Um, as you can see, it's really old already. You can't see whatever it says on the packaging anymore. But this is like the best bronzer on the go. Like if you are like in a hurry, you just need to do your makeup really quick. Like this is like on the go. Um, because it's not really like powdery. Um. It's just easy as you can see I hit pan already um, but I've had this for years too like this is like the first makeup I ever bought I think um, but yeah um, it still works fine so I don't think you know it's a bad thing that I still have it but yeah I just it, this is like my go-to bronzer like I just take my brush just swivel it just and just contour my face and there you go um, yeah this is like the best everyday powder it's it's not like dusty or anything and it's not too harsh on your face so that where you have to like over blend your face um, it's just awesome like I really recommend recommend this to anyone especially people that don't like um, cream bronzer this is like the best. all right and I guess last thing for face um, is my elf palette um, this is the blush palette and this is in dark um, I wanted to get the light one, but uh, at the end of the day, I don't mind getting the dark one either because this is kind of a good product actually. Um, this is how it looks like. Yes, I kind of had a little accident there, but don't mind that. So this one has glitter and the rest are matte colors and it's on the dark side as you can see. This is like the lightest one. Um, 
I've been using this on a lot of my tutorials um, I just like it it's not really like my go-to for daily though but for tutorials and things like that I feel I feel like it's really good it looks really good on camera I'm wearing like the burgundy this burgundy color today yeah this one so um, I really like it especially because it has four colors so I mean it's good for traveling if you just like bam take one and go so that's that I really really like that actually one more um, is this BB cream right here I did not use this at the end of the year uh, because um, I feel like my face needed more so actually I've been um, especially for work I've been just using like um, foundation the L'Oreal foundation and my other ones but um, at the beginning of the year and the end of 2014 I've always 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 reached for this one and uh, it has SPF 15 it's by CoverGirl and I am in light to I'm number 810 which is light to medium I just like it because of the consistency it's very light um, it's easy to apply I always use my finger to apply it little goes a long way um, it's just I don't know I just love this product it's like this is the first um, this is the first BB cream I ever bought and it, all the BB cream that I have right now does not compare to this like this is still like I feel like the best if you guys know anything that's better than this let me know because I would love to try it but as of right now this is the best for me <laughs> this I really love this okay I think that's done with the face no one more thing <laughs> actually I have this some um, this is actually a bronzer from elf but um, I don't use it as a bronzer I actually use it as a highlighter um, because it's a little too bright for me like I'm not gonna I don't want my face to glow like that you know what I mean like it's just a little too much for my face so um, you know if you just put it like on top of your nose you know, like right on the forehead a little bit you know right on here on here where the light hits like it's so good I've been using this a lot on my previous tutorials as well um, I just like it for like highlight I even use it as like a eyeshadow sometimes because it's just you just swipe it and just swipe it on an eye and you're good to go because it's gold and it's a little fancy so it looks like you, you've been trying even though you did not so that's why I really like this um sorry guys I'm trying to fix my hair it's kind of okay so that's that I think that's the last thing for my face for sure yes so moving on to eyes I guess I don't um, think this is a surprise I mean I've been using this quite often last year for my I mean for my tutorials yes um, I even try to use back on my brows like a lot of times like a lot of times like there's a time where I've been using back on my brow, brow color to fill it in for like a month or so so yes I really really like this this is the original naked palette and this is I think the only naked that I'll buy um, except the naked on the run I might get that too but um, when it comes to eyeshadow I'll just get this because I don't feel like I need the other ones especially the naked too because it has a pink undertone sorry guys I'm shrinking <laughs> but um yeah I just you know it's a beautiful color it's not because it's popular that I like it guys but it's really is like a beautiful neutral everyday color like um, it's just it's perfect um, so yeah I really like it especially because it comes with a brush too it's just like very handy I really really like that um, so yeah, like I said I use it for like just not my eyes but my brow too so it's awesome and it's awesome for traveling too I can just bring this and I can do like a lot of different looks with it ah, it's just I love it <laughs> okay next so, thing I'm gonna show you guys eye products I guess um, are these three no two things right here these are both eyeliners yes they're both liquid eyeliners and I think this has been the in my best of 2014 too if I did one um, but this is still best of 2015 um, them too this is the NYC liquid liner um, this is the eyeliner it just said eyeliner liquid um, as you can see the packaging is almost like yeah because I've used it that much um, I really if you guys know me like I really don't 
really like to use liquid eyeliner I only started using liquid eyeliner last year or in 2014 and I'm still trying to like get better at it I did a wig eye today with a liquid eyeliner with these two right here um, I like this because the it's a brush it's a brush tip it's not a felt tip but this one is a felt tip the reason why I like this is because the brush is more manageable for the wing but I like this one which this is the Liner Intense by L'Oreal L'Oreal Paris I like this even though it's a felt tip because I can actually reach the inside of my eye with this and then I can do the wing with the NYC so these two are like good team like I would repurchase them together um, I already uh, purchased another um, brush tip um, eyeliner by Milani but I never used it yet <laughs> hopefully it doesn't go bad but um, these two are like the best um, especially guys because I actually have naturally curled eyelashes so it's really really hard for me to actually do things around my lashes but because sometimes my lashes are on the way so that's why it's hard for me to do like wing line um, so but these two just like helped me a lot so that's why I'm all right mm, get that out of the way and uh, we're gonna go move on to lips so the lips um, the lip um, the lip products that I've been liking a lot that was the best of last year can you guess what it is <laughs> it's actually these two right here these two combo which is the cabaret um, this is by NY X. So this is the NYX Cabaret um, lip liner. And then, guess what? Yes, this is the NYX uh, matte lipstick, soft matte lip cream. Sorry. Um, this is the color Monte Carlo. I repurchased this because actually I gave the one that I I had when I went to Madagascar. I gave it to a family member. So I repurchased it, and this is just like the perfect red for my lips, guys. This is like um, if you watch. Actually, you can't because I didn't use it on that. But um, I probably will make do another video just to show you guys how it looks like, like a tutorial or something. Um, I think I just only used it once on my tutorials, but this is just like the best red matte lipstick like it dries like you have to wait for it to dry but when it dries it just stays there and it doesn't budge it doesn't go like all over your face or anything especially thanks to the uh, lip liner it just gives you like a perfect guidance so these two again another two another uh, another combo <laughs> that you need to get um get these these are drugstore so it's cheap it, it's perfect just try it. Alright guys, and then <laughs> last uh, makeup things are brushes. Yes, brushes guys. Um, I'm a brush type of person if you all know, if you have been watching my channel for a while. Um, I've just been on the Beauty Blender wagon in like at the very very end of like last year. So yes, I am a, I'm a brush type of person, which is good. I mean brush is faster <laughs> but anyways um the brushes that I'm gonna show you guys have two face brushes and two eye brushes the face brushes maybe this is not a this is not a surprise either but this is the elf um, blush brush and no I don't use it as a blush brush I mean yes I still do sometimes like put like like this but I mainly use it for my uh, contouring or my bronzer I really really love this for that because of the pointed slightly like uh, pushed uh, slightly I don't know leaned that way and pointed uh, brush it's really really easy to just reach into your cheeks to do this so I really really love this for that I would not use any other brush I try to use other brushes for my contouring but this is like the only one that actually really reaches it especially on the go like I can even do like this to like blend it Put, put it this way to like put it on put it this way to blend it and put it this way to put the blush it's like I can just use this for everything <laughs> so I really really have been loving this second one is actually this brush right here um, I use this mainly for my um, under eye 
for to blend in for blending my concealer so i use this as like a concealer brush because it's a dome shape it's really perfect for under my eyes especially to like press pal uh, press products in i've used this several times in my videos where i use it under my eyes and that's what i think it, this is good for sorry about that <laughs> so that's what i really think this is good for um i really really recommend you um, checking out BH Cosmetics for this brush. This is from BH Cosmetics. Um, this is part of like the set, the stripe set that I bought. But and I believe this is called the part of the rainbow set. But um, if you can buy it separately, get it because you will not regret it. It's it's like the best thing ever. It's like dense enough, but it's not too dense where it's gonna hurt you. You know what I mean? Because it's under your eye. You have to be gentle. Yada yada yada. <laughs> Next one. Sorry guys, I'm out of breath. <laughs> Pregnancy. <laughs> Next um, two products. This is part of the set that comes with this one. These two. This is a blending brush and this is angled brush. Blending brush. I've been using these two like a lot too in my previous um, tutorials. This one is really perfect when you're trying to get that almost like the V shape, the V or C on the outer corner. Um, this is just precise, like it's just gonna stay there and stay there because of the angle that it gives, that it has. Um, and it's dense enough, but it's also like wibbly if you wanna like, you know, blend your, um, your makeup. So I really, really, really love this. <laughs> um, especially if you're somebody that like having, that has hard time like doing that, you know the C on the outer corner this is just gonna like help you out because it already has the, the shape of it so yeah the next one is just a simple blending brush um, I like it because it's a little long and it puffs up at the end so it's really good for like reaching like smaller smaller area sorry about that guys so it's actually really good for reaching like smaller areas on your face on your eye um, and I even like use this for like putting like bronzer on this side of my nose sometimes I even sometimes use it to like put products on like my inner corner here I just it's like passepartout you say it in French it's like a, it's a multitasker <laughs> so I really 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 like these two so two combos not really but you can use it by themselves and they're just they're perfect they're good even though like the you wash them to the shape that they don't lose their shapes and stuff so and yeah. then next thing that i'm gonna show you guys are not uh makeup but they're still beauty related it's actually the these two two perfumes right here so the first one is the victoria's secret bombshell this have been wearing this since forever I used to work at Victoria's Secret back in college and um, um, so we get discounts so I bought a lot of things from Victoria's Secret anyways so yeah so I got this um, and also have the body mist so the body mist is the one I put in my purse and then I just spray it throughout the day and this one I just wear during the night time because it lasts longer yada 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 um, but yeah I got really like well uh, when my pregnancy started I got really sick of like smells like that so i liked more like masky scent after which is really weird like i never like masky scents i like sweet scents sweet and fresh scents um and and uh, fruity scents for um for sure but i don't like masky scents but lately when after when i um i'm like finishing my second trimester now i like masky scents i like strong mature scents sorry my baby's kicking and um, so i've been using this perfume this is eau de toilette actually and it's, it's by gem the von cliff et arpel paris so that's okay how am i gonna show it to you guys because i've been using it a lot so that's why it's going down but this i've had this since i was 15 it's the oldest perfume I have um, I don't know if that's a bad thing 
but um, I haven't used it in like a while and I just started using this again lately um, by the end of last year and I've been just loving it guys so it was over here ish and then I've used that much for like the end of last year so I really really like this um, yeah I don't know it's like it's like a masky scent for sure it's it's a strong masky scent it's gonna last a while people are gonna smell you type of scent like but it's mature and i really like that mature type of scent bombshell is more flirty girly whatever i still like it but i don't know i feel like my sense of scent is like changing <laughs> is anyways weird? moving on to fashion i guess um ever since um, this is part of my sponsor and it's not because oh I'm wearing, like, not sponsored but part of my very first collaboration with a site that I ever done um, the other is I just got them for free and then I just did the review for for another website but this one is actually for collab with my YouTube channel so this one right here this top from fashion 55 um, if I'm wrong I just put the site right here this is how it looks like I've talked about this many times before and this is the back and it has the opening um, ever since I got it and ever since I found out that I was pregnant I've been wearing this top like a lot and I like it because it's well it's feminine look at it just look at it and the detailing on the, the top is just amazing it's cute and it's only like 5.99 five yeah 5.99 so i mean it's really cheap but it's good material and i really like it and it's unique like nobody i've never seen anyone has this <laughs> and then the ruffle and then like the high low and the opening in the back is just everything right now you can see my belly popping up through it but it's not like like you can see like i'm huge it's just like oh it's cute of a thing so I really really like that top okay guys oh, almost wow. done so the last product that I'm gonna show you guys actually is this pair of boots right here it's from Charlotte Russe it's just a knee-high boots um, I even wore this back home in Madagascar that was my go-to pair of boots like whatever I wore I made sure that would match with it because I just you just flip it you just put it on and that's good you go you're good to go um, I even worried at the at the airport because you just put it on and you know slip it on <laughs> um, um, so yeah I, I worried on the airplane obviously so yeah guys like um, it was just a comfortable boots and yeah i love boots you guys all know that that i do love boots sorry my hair is like starting to irritate me now but yeah i guess that's about products um let's talk about okay my favorite people of last year this is not to say that you know i don't like the rest of you guys okay this is not to say that at all but um i feel like this person has made like a huge impact in my life especially on my youtube life like she's so generous like she's just generous um i, I was like that before but i've been hurt and i learned my lesson but no but she's really just generous and uh she has helped she is the part of like some part of my youtube growth because um, she introduced me to other youtuber hi guys um, I know I've been make, doing like a lot of collab videos with her and with her with the others um, so yeah she's the reason why other youtuber actually know me and um, I believe she's the reason why other viewers also watch my videos now because I have a couple of videos of mine um, I have yes I have a couple of videos of mine that's on her channel um, I don't know <laughs> okay so um, but I'm just gonna say right right away um, her channel is Gascarian channel and her name is Tax hi Tax if you're passing by um, I think you be busy by now though I don't know if, when you're gonna see this video but um, thank you so much for being you and for being so generous I really appreciate you 
Merci, Tax. So anyways, um, yeah, she's Malagas, just like me, but she, um, she lives in Norway. Um, so she's abroad, just like me also. Um, she's pregnant, just like me. <laughs> anyways, um, but yeah, I just, like, people like that are just, they make life better. Like, they make life, I don't know, they just put, like, a smile in your face, like, they are literally just doing doing good out of their heart, you know what I mean? They're not like trying to like benefit from it or anything. I don't know how to explain it guys, but like I just feel like she's pretty cool. <laughs> she's like a very nice person. So yeah. oh, guys. Um my baby's really kicking so I should feed her. But um I think that's pretty much it. If I if I forgot some things I'll just put it on the screen or and things like that. Um, I still have one more video to film after this, so I guess I'll just let you guys go. Um, thank you so much for watching, guys. I know the video is a little long, but I, f I hope you guys got something out of it. I'm sorry that the video is a little late. This is supposed to be uh, best of last year, so it's supposed to be in January. Uh, but um, I had a few videos already lined up for you guys, so you can only see this now. Um, but yeah, thank you so much for following me on all my journeys. Um, I've grown with you guys. Like, there's some of you that are my friend now because of YouTube, and I really appreciate that. Like, all of you guys, my subscribers are the best of 2015. <laughs> all of you that subscribe to my channel since forever until now, you guys are the best of 2015 so thank you so much guys um, for still sticking around and watching my videos um yeah i don't really have much to say but um yeah thank you so much for watching and i will talk to you guys in the next video bye guys <laughs>